Let's take a look at a program to find the min-max of five numbers. There's other ways you can do this beyond what I'm showing, but um, we're just going to use it with our basic constructs we've looked at so far. So I do File, New Project. And um, then I'm going to have min, or example, min, max, five numbers. using F else. Okay. Click OK. And I'll make my um my form a little bit bigger. And I need um, five labels and five button or text boxes I guess. So labels. One, two, three, five and text boxes. I need five. One, two, three, four, five. I need a button, and I need two labels to return the answer. No, I need four labels. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm going to select all these and go ahead and change the font while I'm at it. Click outside of that, and let's start moving these. Okay, and then our text boxes. Okay. And then our labels go along with that. Okay. First label, I'll change its text. Say num number one. I'll ch change this one to say number two. This one to say number three. Number four. Number five. Here's my button to recalculate. Change this button to say min. And then change this button to say maximum. And change, I'll do rectangular select and select both of those. I'll change your visible to be false. Okay, give these some names. Actually, I can just my form, I guess. And, uh, min and max. Um, example. Okay. So this one, I'm going to change its name. To be TB underscore number one. This one, I'll change this name to be TB underscore number two. TB underscore number three. TB underscore number four. TB underscore number five. Change this to be LB underscore min. I'm going to change this to be LB underscore max. Size this a little bit so it looks a little bit more pleasing and run it just see how it looks. Okay, my tabs here. If I press tab, 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 okay, tab order looks okay, and those are hit. Okay, um, let me double click uh, calculate, and that's where we put our code at. Let me uh, run notepad here. Okay, I've um I've specified uh, 
certain brain cells uh, to record the minimap. You come up here, you're going to start giving me five numbers. Well, first number you give me is three. Well, to begin with, that's both my high and my low. So our min and our max. You tell me the next number. You tell me the next number is five. Well, I, I mentally uh, check it. I ask myself if five is less than three, it's not. So I come down to the max and I see, okay, is five greater than three? It is. So I replace that with five. So then I press to find my delete. Uh, I don't see my delete. Oh, there it is. Okay. You tell me, uh, come up and give me the next number. You say the next number is 12. I ask myself if it's less than 3. It's not. I ask myself if it's greater than 5, and it is. So I put 12 there. Now, that exact same thought process that you use to uh, do it in real life is what you would program. So let's uh, move this out of the way. First off, I need to bring in the numbers. And I'll say they're integers. So I've got N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, min, max. N1 is going to equal to int.parse. And um, in, or tb underscore number one dot text. N2 is in, uh, int parse tb underscore num number two dot text n3 is equal to int dot parse tb underscore num number three dot text n4 is equal to int dot parse tb underscore number four dot text n5 is equal to int dot parse tb underscore number five dot text and uh, got our five numbers in initially initially our first number is both the min and max so min is going to equal to n1 max is going to equal to n1 Okay, so now I'm going to handle my second number. So I'm going to say if n2 is less than n1, or min, sorry, that means that n2 is the smaller now. So my mix, try it again, min. So my new min is going to be equal to n2. On the other hand, if N2 is greater than our max, then our new max is going to be N2. I'm going to handle my third number. If N3 is less than my min, then my new min is going to be equal to N3. If my N3 is going to be greater than my max, then my new max will be N3. Handle fourth number. If n4 is less than min, then min is going to equal to n4. If n4 is greater than max, then my um, new max will be n4. And handle the last number. If n5 is less than min, then my new min is going to be equal to N5. If N5 is greater than max, then my new max is going to be equal to N5. And then I need to write that back out. So I'll do LB um, underscore min dot text is equal to min dot two string. And LB underscore min uh, dot visible is equal to true. So they can see it. LB max dot text is equal to max dot two string and then lb max dot visible is equal to true okay let's um let's run this and see how it, see how it looks okay so I'll put seven two three twelve five 
quick calculate and um, look like it's lined up like I might like but it looks like it's left aligned but that's okay 2 is my smallest number and 12 is my largest number so that looks good um, if I put a negative number in here I will handle that handles it just fine um, how about if I leave one of them blank quick calculate we get an error don't we um, so that that'd be a place where you could possibly put in some uh, error handling uh, to make sure they input the numbers but uh, that's basically how you can use if statements to um, find a minimax. max now this is one that students uh, have struggled with in the past they'll have all kinds of bizarre um, checks and they'll be use a lot of ands in there but if you think how you do it in real life if somebody approached you with five numbers and asked you to tell them which one was what's smallest and largest that's how you do it in programming you wouldn't do a bizarre if if um, structure you would use basic like this go ahead and close that 